Hello African Confessions. Hello, I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys. The message reads like this. Hello, how are you? Can you please post my story as anonymous? My brother Nashi, I have come here to confess. So this story that I want to tell you, it is a family secret that has been kept in the family for quite a long time. This story is about my father's younger brother who was into politics before he died. So now we are facing a lot of problems because of the many rituals that he did. We were told that the reason why our father's younger brother was doing all of these rituals it was because he was involved in politics and for six good years he was winning elections non-stop but he was doing this by rituals and he sacrificed his own wife so that he can win these elections they were not like national elections but they were just local elections because our father's younger brother he was a councillor, a local councillor in the area that he was living. And I don't want to mention the area in which he was a councillor. When we saw that as a family we were suffering so much, mostly from poverty and things like that, we decided that as a family, like the whole extended family, we had to pay a visit at a certain traditional healer so that we can consult. Like my father's younger brother's children, those are the ones that refused to go with us to consult with that traditional healer. When we went to that traditional healer, as we were consulting with him, that is when he managed to raise up the spirit of that woman who was sacrificed by our father's younger brother. Then that spirit, when it was raised up, it then took possession of one of my cousin's sister who was there with us. The spirit of that woman who was sacrificed by our father's younger brother then began to speak. It told us everything that had happened. It told us how our father's younger brother had traveled to Angola after he had joined politics because he wanted to be a councillor in the community where he was living. And when the opportunity came to him, when he saw that he could not defeat the candidate whom he was running against in that election, that is when he travelled to Angola to pay a visit to this certain witch doctor so that he can get the powers to win the election. He was told that he would lose the elections if he didn't do anything. The witch doctor then told him that the only solution to win that election was if he could sacrifice his own wife, meaning if he could kill his own wife. That was the only option that was on the table. The spirit of that woman who was sacrificed by our father's younger brother then told us that he was given a needle whilst he was in Angola. And when he arrived back home, that is when he took an egg. Whilst he was breaking that egg, he was calling out that woman's name and he was saying all the things that he wanted to work in his favor. So in the end, he ended up killing his own wife. That spirit cried as it was explaining everything that had happened. It said, days before the elections, that woman who was sacrificed by our father's younger brother just went mad. She lost her mind afterward. She just died. That is how our father's younger brother won that election. After our father's younger brother had won the elections, he traveled back to Angola and he was given some herbs so that he can come back with those herbs and plant those herbs on top of his wife's grave, the one that he had just sacrificed, so that the spirit of that woman whom he had just sacrificed won't be able to rise up and to torment him. The spirit then spoke through my sister and it said, I want you to repay me because my life was cut short. The problem now that we are facing as a family is that we were told by that traditional healer that we were supposed to go back and fetch our father's younger brother's children and we should come back so that we can come back and consult with him as the whole family. But now the problem is that our father's younger brother's children, they are saying that they don't 
belief in this thing of traditional healers. So we are afraid of confronting them in the same way that my father was afraid of his own young brother. Because like my father's younger brother, everyone was afraid of him. That spirit told us that the fear that is in our hearts, it is not normal fear, but it is spiritual fear. When our father's younger brother traveled to Angola, he was given a bottle of oil and the oil that was inside that bottle, it was harvested when a lion was killed. That is why everyone was afraid of my father's younger brother. Growing up, I still remember that my father's younger brother, he was a farmer and he had a lot of cattle on his farm, but he was always afraid of getting close to his own cattle. There was a time when he almost got killed by a bull. That spirit told us that the reason why he nearly got killed by that bull on his farm, it was because he was using the oil that was harvested from a lion when it was killed. That is why people were afraid of him. So on that day when he got attacked by that bull, the bull was not seeing a human being, but the bull thought it was a lion. That spirit that had possessed my cousin's sister kept on crying and crying. And it told us that the reason why it was crying, it was because when the body of that spirit was buried, later my father's younger brother came with other men, then they dug up the grave. That spirit that had possessed my cousin's sister said the time that they were removing the head from her body, she could not follow them because after they had finished cutting off the head from her body, they used some herbs on her grave. So when that spirit tried to follow those men that had cut off the head from her body, she just got lost in the forest and she never saw those men again. So that spirit that was possessing my cousin's sister said she doesn't even know where her head is. That she spirit that was possessing my cousin's sister at that time said, right now, if you don't believe me, go to his farm and dig up my grave. You will certainly see that there are only bones, but my head is not there. I don't know where they went with my head. That is the problem now that we are facing as a family. We really want to dig up that grave so that we can see if this is the truth. But the problem is that we are afraid of our father's younger brother's children. The same way that my own father was afraid of his younger brother. Even though I am like the firstborn in the whole extended family, but I am afraid to confront my father's younger brother's children. Please assist us. What can we do? Because this spirit that was possessing my cousin sister, when it was speaking, it said, if you don't go to my relatives and if you don't confess to them everything that you did to me as a family, I am going to come after you one by one. When it left my cousin sister's body, that spirit cried and it laughed at the same time because it said, if you want to dig up my grave, I see death in the family. I see people dying left, right and center. Then it just left my cousin sister's body. So as a family, we are confused. We don't know what to do. Should we go ahead and confront our father's younger brother's children? We are afraid that if we tell them everything that the spirit of their mother told us, Maybe they will think that we are just blaming their father for all the misfortunes that are happening in our family. Brother Nashi, a lot of things are going on in my family. Dear listeners, right there was a message that I received from Anonymous. Strange things do happen in this world. Please let us meet again in the following episode.